PC. Quinny Vinyl here checking in for a video update. Been crazy busy lately. Let me quickly show you why. As you can see down there, there is quite a few 45s. And then as we quickly look around my little uh, vinyl room here, I have purchased a big lot of LPs, 45s, and everything else. So I'm kind of in uh, in the middle of everything, and uh, everything's just going pretty crazy right now. So I haven't really had a chance to make a video or really go through any of um, my recent pickups with anybody. So let me quickly go through some things. Um, on doo -doo -doo. Wait, where was it? Last Tuesday, which would have been come on last week, the seventeenth of March. Uh, Rush released both All the World's a Stage and Twenty One Twelve, um, part of their Mercury era re-release on vinyl. So, as with my other videos, you can open these up quickly. So, the thing with 2112, which is, which is cool, is they put in a hologram star on the dead wax of the B-side. So, the record looks just like, uh, like the old one did. All the guys rocking it out inside their kimonos on the back. And then, uh... We got the nice 200 gram heavyweight audiophile vinyl. And then uh, the download card. So yeah, on the, uh, on the B side, it has the hologram star, which you can see um, when, you, uh, when you play it under light. Not under light, it's just like a bunch of lines. You can kind of see it actually. See it there? Yeah, you can see it. See the star? So yeah. They just decided to add that um, as a gimmick, I guess. It's pretty interesting. Um, I know um, this is actually sold out on Rush's website. And on Amazon, they're charging something like $45 for it now. So I think it's already uh, a limited edition press. So if you see this, pick it up because I feel the price is going to go up uh, pretty quick. Um, so yeah, that was the, the Mercury pressing there. I only have one other copy of it. It's uh, actually one of the first albums I bought. Mine was in pretty good shape as well. Same. Only difference is mine's on Anthem Records, so Canadian pressing on Anthem. Twenty One Twelve is the Rush album that definitely got Rush their success, and I, without this album, I think Rush would have uh, probably not uh, have existed past past Crest of Steel. So Twenty One Twelve. Thank you. It's not my favorite Rush album, but without it, I wouldn't have all the, the current Rush music, which I love. So yeah, really, uh, I just, I love these re-releases. They sound fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to playing it. Next, All the World's a Stage, um, Rush's first uh, live album. It was uh, recorded... Um, do, 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 do. I don't want to mess it up. Uh, look at that. See, I bought I bought this copy direct from Rush backstage, and I got on the side here. You can see it a little splitting, and on the top a little splitting. So that's pretty disappointing, but it's 200 gram vinyl, so I you know that's probably why it's happening. Um, it's just, you know, that sucks. Uh, it's such a hassle to return stuff like this. And it's just, 
and it's it's pretty discouraging. So Mercury labels, all the world's a stage. And let's take a look inside here. So it's got the, the trifold just like the original did. Nice photos. And then it's a it's a two LP, so the other disc is in there. And again, it's got it's got the download card. All the world's a stage is a really cool um, live album. Um, a lot of people would say it's their least favorite live album because it's very raw sounding. But uh, I think that's definitely something that adds to it. It's a uh, Pretty cool. I got this here um, off a guy in my local VC. I went to his house and picked up some vinyl and saw this on his wall and uh, I had to have it. Rush 2112 live at Massey Hall June 11th, 12th, 13th, 1976. This tour program was when they recorded All the World's a Stage at these dates. So my buddy there was actually at the concert. So it's a really cool, it's got the story of 2112, and it says, um, Of greatest importance is our thanks to each and every one of you for making this dream a reality. Tonight we'll be captured forever on our next album, which is being recorded live here at Massey Hall. The album will not only feature us, but also you, the people of Toronto. Thank you. So it's really cool to have this along with All the World's a Stage. Thank you, uh, Stephen, for selling me this. It's uh, really cool. I even got his ticket stub there. You know, <laughs> wish I was alive to see this. <laughs> That's for sure. I got another couple copies of All the World to Stage. Um, one's an anthem. Other one's the Mercury copy, so identical. I don't want to bore you guys with keep going through all this stuff. So really quickly, I'm just going to go through... Some stuff I have, like honestly, extremely quickly here, because there's just so much stuff. Pick this up, the fix. One thing leads to another 45. The fix is awesome. If you don't know them, pick it up. Uh, this is off their second album, Reach the Beach. From uh, this is from 1983. Standard Rainbow MCA label. What we got here? Got the Monks. Drugs in my pocket. You don't know the Monks, they're pretty cool. It's like a parody punk band, but it's actually pretty decent music. Uh, I would uh, I'd pick it up. Drugs in My Pocket's definitely one of their hit songs, along with uh, Nice Leg, Shame and Butterface. Next, I got Cheap Trick, I Want You to Want Me. This is the live recording from Budokan, so the good version of the song. Happy to pick that up. Next, Chilliwack, Riding High. Canadian boys from, uh, well, Chilliwack, BC. Uh, I believe this is their third or fourth album from uh, 1974. Chilliwack. Next, I got this just because it, uh, it was a decent price. It's uh, Peter Frampton, uh, Frampton Comes Alive. Picture disc. Pretty just a novelty item. I already have the LP. Um, it's a specialty, ed specialty edited version. So... It's not a 2LP like the, the actual thing. There's only a couple songs on here. Ozzy, Bark at the Moon. One of the Ozzy's albums I don't have. Released in 1983. Pretty cool. Nazareth, Snaz. This is a 2LP. It's a, a, one of their live albums. Nazareth, Loud and Proud. Roger Daltrey, Ride a Rock Horse. Like I said, I'm just going to go through these really quick. I don't have time to really talk about them all because, well, there's just so many of them. Susie Quattro's first album. I thought this was pretty cool to pick up. Happy with that find. Let me move over to a pile over here. Let me see. Jimi Hendrix Crash Landing. This was a post-humorous 
after his death uh, release. I know there's a lot of uh, grief about this because they brought in um, the producer who's never really worked with uh, Hendrix and he brought in a bunch of uh, session musicians who've never even met Hendrix. So a lot of people are pretty controversial about this album. I listened to it, it was good. I don't know. I still liked it. Uh, next. Jeez, I got so much stuff here. Sesame Street. Ch children's record. Another Sesame Street children's record. Land of Oz. Halloween type record. Boris, Sleepy Hollow type record, Popeye soundtrack, Monster Mash, another Halloween record. I love collecting my Halloween records. Uh, Neil Diamond soundtrack. Only reason I picked it up is because it's the Half Speed Master and it was like 50 cents, so I said, What the hell? Cats. I don't know. I've been buying a lot of stuff and. Uh, Leonard Skinner, Nothing Fancy, Peter Frampton, I'm Into You, Moody Blues, Every Good Boy Deserves a Favor, Garfunkel Solo, Fate for Breakfast, Q107 Homegrown, these are pretty cool compilations of like unknown Canadian music that uh, Q107 in Toronto uh, put out some albums in the 80s to, to show them off. Got this for a buck because I didn't really know what it was. Crawler. Haven't listened to it yet. Coney Hatch. Friction. Canadian music. Foot in Cold Water. Breaking Through. Ian Thomas. Riders on a Dark Horse. Ariel. In the mid middle of the night. BB Gaber. So if you notice a lot of these last few that you just saw, they're all on Anthem Records. It's what then that's what I'm trying to to collect. Frampton, which is um when is it? I don't know what a year it's from, but yeah. Frampton, Peter Frampton. Steppenwolf for ladies only. With the beautiful penis car. Ultravox Vienna. Alice Cooper, welcome to my nightmare. Really cool story with this one. I bought it probably seven months ago, and the guy at the record store forgot to put it in my bag. Went back to the record store seven months later, because it's quite far from me, and he still had, had it behind the counter for me. So thank you, Niagara Records and St. Catharines, for uh, being a good guy. Next, the door soft parade. Faces a nod in the right direction to a blind horse. Armageddon, which uh, I haven't heard of until I picked it up for like a buck, and I've been told uh, it's a great album. So looking forward to that. Eagles on the border. Kensington Market Avenue Road. I saw this and I picked it up just because I like collecting cat stuff. I don't know what it is. Cats. It's some 80s band. We'll take a listen and see how it is. Ian Thomas. Another anthem release. And Sagarini. Another anthem release. Fifty four forty, show me. Bentwood Rocker from my hometown, uh Belleville, Ontario, take me to heaven. Stompin' Tom Connors, bringing them back. The worst of Jefferson Airplane. It's Melanie, gather me. Rock Island Lane line. Starring Johnny Cash and Jenny C. Riley. The Romantics. And lastly, Fat Mattress. So like I said, I couldn't really get into many much details. Because that would take like an hour to show you guys that kind of stuff. Um, 
hopefully next time I make a video I can go into more detail about some things. If you guys want to know some things about some of the albums I just showed you, let me know. I'll try to include it in my next post. Um, upcoming next month in April, Rush will be reissuing A Fair Riddle Kings. So everybody uh, look forward to that. Great album. And yeah, it's gonna be uh gonna be great to hear it uh in better quality. So guys, thanks for tuning in again. Sorry about the, the short video. Uh please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys wanna see. I'll uh be willing to do things. Just uh let me know what kind of uh, videos you'd like to see. If you guys wanna see any of my albums in specific, let me know. Thank you, VC. Take care. Bye.